Street takes the brightest people and smashes them into the pavement on a regular basis. There's only one bottom line on Wall Street, and that bottom line is how much money you make. This is one of the most stressful job on Earth. We have stress every single second. Not everybody can survive. Greed is ugly. Make as much money as you can so that you can get out of there before it turns you to the dark side. It's Saturday morning and I like to get a jog in in the early morning. Usually run a couple days a week. Today is a special day. I'm going to be drinking all day with my buddy Ed. So it'll be some drunken golf, and then I have a big day tonight with uh, this beautiful model. So it's a big day for me. So we managed to escape for a nice weekend out to the Hamptons. The Wall Street crowd has really helped make this place what it is. This place is chock-a-block with guys in finance. It's your crowd, your social set. Everybody has sort of congregated here. Uh, there are preferences. Some people want to be in the South. Some people want to be in the East. You know, they're all beautiful. Everybody lives their own way out here. My preference is to live very nicely, but not to do it in a very fussy way. Most of the time, the focus really is around my daughter and, uh, and trying to spend as much time as I can. Uh, I don't generally get to see her during the week because I'm in town working and uh, you know, everybody else is out here. So it's really a great opportunity to sort of regroup and it's probably the thing I love to do the most. I spend my summer weekends primarily in the Hamptons and pretty much everybody that I know is out there, so there's a lot of socializing going on and an opportunity to network. Networking is key to success in this business. You really need to go out there and meet people. You make yourself useful to their causes. You have to have good social skills, be a people person. It's a constant process of giving and receiving. And if you're not exceedingly boring yourself, then, you know, it's fun. I'm very excited to be at Polo today because although I go riding whenever I can, which isn't that often in New York, I'm excited because I've never been on a polo horse before. I'm used to riding dressage horses or western styles. We'll uh, get her up on a, uh, on a polo pony, uh, teach her how to swing a mallet, teach her how to ride a little bit, and... I know how to ride. Uh, see how she does. Polo. The hardest thing you can do is uh, stay on the horse, uh, swing a mallet, and uh, uh, keep on the horse. Are they too short? I mean, if no. I were riding in the country, yeah, okay. So this horse is Steve. He's about seven years old. You're going to love him. He's very calm, relative to polo ponies. So these are his reins. I'm going to teach you how to hold polo reins. So you choose a mallet that's based on the size of the horse. That looks good. Put your thumb in like this. There you go. So you're going to use a whip. Oh, really? Be careful how you use it. A lot of stuff to hold, I have to say. Follow me. We met through mutual friends a while back and always stayed in touch. And Sandy and I both uh, work in the Wall Street world. I own an investment bank and an asset management business. And that allows me to play polo on the weekends. <laughs> this week I was in Scotland, Berlin, and Paris, but came back for the weekend for polo because it's so much fun. Most of the guys here have been successful Wall Street professionals in their careers. Yeah, in fact, as I'm looking out on the field, I can tell you that they all are. These are all Wall Streeters. Today, the best day of the week. It's a barbecue day. Hit the pool, buy some shopping, and enjoy yourself with the family and with the friends. For me personally, I did well on Wall Street, and uh, I'm very happy, you know, I can go, buy anything I want, eat anything I want, uh, drive anything I want. We're going today to a Brighton Beach, it's a small street, 
which is probably half a mile in length. It's right by the ocean. Most of the Russians actually who live in New York, they live in Brighton Beach. And we feel like we never left home. Russia. My parents, my sister, and my grandparents, we used to live in a small two-bedroom apartment. The bathroom was outside. In order to have hot water, my grandparents have to boil it. So it was extremely hard. You got used to very little. For example, in Russia, you know, if you want to go buy cheese, so one cheese is just a cheese. Everything made on a daily basis, nice and fresh, always. The Wall Street doesn't really care what's your nationality, what language you speak. Well, I'm in the top 2% in the United States as far as the money making, and I'm really proud of it. It's, it's no meat without sour pickles. You, know, you gotta have sour pickles. We are gonna play a little bit of golf. This is uh, my friend Ed. It's he works for on. a bank, doing boring bank stuff, and I'm trying to uh, get him to into the hedge fund world because it's a lot better pay and he's underpaid. Since we don't have a lot of golf balls, we're gonna use one ball. So no matter where your ball goes, you're getting it because that's where you're playing from. I don't care if it goes in the woods. I don't care if it goes in the ponds. You're getting your ball. Come on, baby. Well, Boom! That's a good one, Tim. This could be atrocious. Nice! Not too bad. Let's do it. We're uh, leaving. Don't leave without Come me. Come on, catch up. <laughs> catch up. <laughs> don't make me Catch up. Oh, Jesus. Wait, this isn't the right flag. <laughs> this we, is in the middle of the fairway. I'm hitting it to that flag. I don't care. <laughs> That's a good shot. I know. Wrong one. Oh, boy. Beautiful. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to die my golf cart. Yeah, you're on the green, almost. Yeah, I'm on the rough. Oh, we got people ahead of us, too. I don't think I'm going to hit them, do you? No. Is there a possibility? No. I will pay you a million dollars if you hit them. <laughs> Come on, three iron. Dude, you're not going to hit a guy. You can barely hit it 50 feet. Let's go. <laughs> oh, sh You got to play it. This whole one ball thing for my game is a really bad idea. Yeah, you stupid ball. What? Look at that. We got deer in our field of play. I'm going to run these guys over. Come on, deer! No! <laughs> Bambi, run! Run, Bambi! Oh. It's a work of art. Ah. Gotta get it! <laughs> Gotta get it! It's in, like, alligator territory. Get it! I'm not going in there! Ed, I invited you. Go up and get your f***ing ball. It's been easy. Take off your shoes. Get in there. <laughs> oh. These are the rules. I don't like playing by your rules. Go of your like the rules. Get in there. Go. Yeah, you would. <gasps> what? It's either an egg of an alligator or my ball. <laughs> Let's find out. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Oh! Boom. That's how we play. John Holmes. This is another good piece of Wall Street slang. It refers to when you're really, really long a particular stock. So you got so many shares that you're John Holmes on it. You know, doing a deal is really fantastic. Riding a pony is just as good because it's about being better, being the best, being number one. It's all about winning. And when you hit it, you have to hit it with the uh, open face of the mallet. You just practice just like that. There you go. Beautiful. Come on. There you go. Beautiful. Just by hit it. Move your mallet back now. Swing. Almost. I love the power of horses, their energy, just the force, and form a unity with them and just conquer the world. I started writing when I was eight or nine. I got private lessons every single day, and I wrote numerous tournaments, but then it kind of subsided because I started attending law school, and so I didn't have time for it anymore. Come on, go! Almost, stay on. That is so annoying. Forward now, okay, good try. I think I need to get a feel on how to hit the ball. Should I just try without the mallet once, just to get a breath? No. Okay. okay. This is really great because I get to tell Sandy what to do. She doesn't always listen to me. I have to get a better feel for the distance to the ground and the mechanics. Beautiful. Okay, you want a break? No. Okay. 
Okay, let's go. Make the kissing sound. Shh. No, kissing. Oh. Polo is not something that uh, someone can just get up on a horse and start doing. You have to really be an experienced rider. I feel very comfortable on the horse because really when you're trying to hit the ball, you may hit their face, you may hit their feet or their side, and they do not get freaked out at all. <sighs> Sorry, I hit Steve. It's just elements that you're not used to, like the mallet. That's a little bit different, but I, I love it. The United States is beautiful. You, you have a capitalism, you know. All you have to do just make money and then you can buy anything. I love America. When I was in school, when we were learning the history of uh, Russia and the United States, it was a big deal. The capitalism was bad, Uncle Sam is bad, Texas is bad. You know, and I figure out that completely what I learned, everything was completely opposite. I personally believe that uh, capitalism is it, it's good. A lot of people want me to become a, um, a money manager, hedge fund manager, you know, I've done very good returns since the day I came to the industry, you know, I'm a very safe player, but it's a big step, it's a huge responsibility, and now I day trade my own money, if I lose, I lose my own money, but, you know, when you play with other people's money, you gotta sleep with that, I mean, you wake up 5 o'clock in the morning, you gotta make sure that you stick in the good positions, you know, it's, uh, I come home 5 o'clock, I spend the time with the family and I don't have to worry about what's going to be on Monday. But you know, if uh, you get into that business, it's completely different. You know, I, I guess not everything in this life about the money. We, uh, we met uh, 13 years ago through my wife's girlfriend, you know. So, we went out. It was a very wonderful day. I fell in love right away. From the first moment? From the first moment. And I took her home. In a way to elevate her, I wanted to Stop kiss her. It. And she said, in order to get kissed, you got to get married. That's how we got married. <laughs> it, took exactly, it took exactly four days. It's absolutely true. Mm -hmm. It's same like on Wall Street. You got to make a decision fast. If you don't make a decision fast. I do well on my sevens. I get them up in the air. I got to keep doing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Golf is not golf without beer. Look at that hook! Look at my shot. Come on. Look at this kid. This kid had a rough night last night. <laughs> Let's go. Focus. Come on. You're up. It's gonna yak. I'm pretty close. Get out of the cart. Get out of the cart. Oh my god. This is brutal. Oh man, do I feel like crap. It's your shot. Keep the club. Nice. Oh, I don't think. Oh, that's like a hurl position. This is the worst day of my life. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my bodily functions. Oh. Oh. Yesterday coming out here, you know, we had one of those days is really arduous where, you know, you can be right for 90% of the day, but it's the last 10% of the day that just kills you. You need to be able to say, you know, Monday will come, you know, there's nothing you can do between now, the close on Friday, and Monday morning. There's no way that we can affect what we do. We couldn't trade if we wanted to at this point anyway. So you come out to a place like this and you, and you rest. You have got to shut down a little bit. It is not possible to always be wound up. I mean, there are guys who do that and then suddenly they drop dead. Good boy. You know, I was an athlete my entire life. I'm finding that the last three, four years, I'm undoing the last 20 as a consequence of really being nose to the grindstone in order to get things done. What I've done is basically replicated exactly what I have on my desktop in my office out at the beach so that I can see precisely what's going on. I can see literally every single thing that I see in the city. On a weekend, it allows me to relax even a little bit more because I'm not worrying about rushing into the office on Monday to figure out what to do next. What did the market do? What did what we own and what we're short do? What groups are strong? What groups are weak? That's not something we want to leave for five or six o'clock on Monday morning. There's far too much else going on in the way of real news. It never stops. This is a business that if you don't control it, it is definitely going to take control and control you. It's very hard to draw the line in networking between personal interaction and business because oftentimes it overlaps. 
enjoy being a deal maker, putting together the deals, but part of that is to raise money for those funds. So I have a lot of contacts in the institutional world. After you've known them for a while, it's a very familiar kind of relationship, and you contact them and you say, hey, I know this guy and his investment strategy is as follows, and he has had really good returns with low volatility, and typically they start funding at 25 million and up. We don't even say million, you know, just talk about 25, 50, 100, 200. Um, that's usually how it goes. Actually, he wants to report the two highest IQ job were Wall Street and priests. He could see how they both could use praying. Right now, since Ed quit, I'm, I've won. I haven't quit. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> Are you fing kidding me? Look at that pawn, it's disgusting. was never meant to be played this way. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop. I hate you so much. Not bad. Oh. That's how we finished, Tim. Yeah. Cheers. Let's go home. I got to get back to the city now. I got a big day tonight. I've got pizza by myself. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Cheers to that. I, I think we should swap. <laughs> no, don't break my bottle. I think I want the girl. You can have the pizza. I don't think so. I like this girl. OK. So. This is my motorcycle. I love it. 124 horsepower, 126 pounds of torque, and it's pretty damn quick. Same as me. When I trade, I'm as fast as this bike. Just a little faster. Her name is a nightmare. Can't get better than that. That's my pride and joy. Everywhere I go, the people stop me and look at it. It's just a blast. From the day one, I bought it. Every time I take this bike out, I'm enjoying myself. I love coming to the beach because it's the quickest and surest way to decompress. This is very quiet here. It's never crowded because it's a private beach. And then just seeing the water and inhaling the fresh air, it's, it's a great change to New York. I come out to the Hamptons usually on Friday. I'm invited by friends who have houses here. Like this weekend, it's a couple that I'm staying with and their children, so it's a very nice atmosphere, very kind of family-oriented. Because of my job and because of where I live, everything is kind of a headache a little bit. So here it's easy. I'm from Dusseldorf, which is in the west, uh, western Germany, close to Bonn, the former capital. I don't miss Germany too much. I'm, I'm too busy, and also New York has too much to offer. You know, you know people through work and they invite you to their parties and then they introduce you to their families and, and there you meet other people who may become primarily personal contacts but it may also always play into business. You go to one party, you get 10 invitations for other parties. So it's kind of a snowballing effect. Sometimes it's even hard to streamline it because I do have to work for a living. When I think of Wall Street, I primarily think of the type of people it attracts, and I would say it attracts mostly very goal-oriented, persistent, resilient types of people. People who know that there's only one bottom line, and that bottom line is how much money you make. Great shot. <laughs> She's a great girl that I'm going out with tonight. She might be a model, but uh, she's a very uh, nice model. She's pretty bright. She actually has a sense of humor. She actually has a personality. Just a lot of rare uh, attributes. I'm pretty excited. It's a big night for me. Look at that big ice sculpture. It's crazy. 
It's cool. They have some really good drinks here too. Like? I don't know. I don't drink that crap. <laughs> I drink my, my goose and soda. Yeah? Yeah, that's my drink. You used to drink whiskey. I know. I don't do that anymore. You don't drink whiskey? No. I'm, in, I'm in it for the long term now. Like, I can't do whiskey all night. Please. Sushi is I like... I get addicted to sushi. Like, I can eat sushi every day. Welcome to my life. I do every eat sushi. Day. I have a $500 a week sushi habit. I can't pick it up. The Wall Streeters that I know are not very cool. They're all very serious, very, you know, which I understand. But now you are an exception, I must say. I appreciate that, but... Is there, like, a lot of, like... Like young ones now? Right? No. No, right? Most I young mean, people I, are like bitches in their firms. They like get people yeah, coffee what, and stuff. See, like the ones that I know. That's why I started my own firm. I, I'm never the bitch. A hedge fund is basically just a company that tries to make money for its investors. And we take a cut from what profits we make them. So our interests are completely aligned with our investors. Whereas if you're a mutual fund, all you do is take a management fee. It doesn't matter if you have a good year or a bad year, you take your management fee. Their interests are not aligned with their investors. That's why hedge funds are better, in my opinion. I see what you're saying. <laughs> do you? <laughs> How did you do in the tennis tournament, by the way? We lost to um, University of Miami. Sluts. <laughs> No, but we played pretty good. I mean, we sluts. <laughs> but it was like you lost to a bunch of sluts. <laughs> you know them? I do. Cool. I don't. Shut up. I don't know. <laughs> you get emotional when you get I drunk. Do. I get emotional. Me you know. too. I cry a lot of times. I don't know if I go that far. I cry. That's awesome. Bring it on tonight. That right there. It's my frequent karaoke card. Look at that. Look at how many stamps I've gotten. But the cool thing is that this place is open till 8 in the morning. This is my late night place. Most guys bring their girls back to their houses. I bring them to karaoke. NYC, baby. Testing, testing, testing. Ah! I give good audio. <laughs> Butt hurts from the polo. This is the what's it called? Tucker? No, melon. No, mallet. I've traded balls with Tim. I'm kind of excited about it. Stop making ball jokes. That's just embarrassing. Successful husband is the person who make money faster than the wife can spend it. 